Hey everyone, welcome back to Sync Programming. I will show you how to make a curtain menu today, like this. So, before starting, if you haven't followed my Instagram page, so go there and click the follow button. We post daily content over there about JavaScript and web development. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, that is Sync Programming. So, after, let's get started. I will make a folder named Curtain Menu, and in this folder, I will just make index.html. So I will just import a background image uh, from a different folder. You can use any of your background image. I am just using my dark background image because I like the dark color. And now I will just copy and paste it in my folder. So after that, just getting started, I will just start with my boilerplate and write a title as curtain menu. So I will just click on the go live button. I will close all the tabs for now and just minimize it and uh, use it side by side so that you can see clearly how the things work so i will just make a div giving it class overlay and id is my nav so it will be a navigation div it will have an anchor tag which class is close button which will have it having a close button which on clicking uh, which will run the function close btn and look at these and times is the symbol you can use it as a symbol of cross you can also use x but yeah the cross symbol looks really professional in that i will just give the class after that overlay content and in this i will just use the anchor text for anchor text like services about clients and contacts like in any navigation bar it is after that i will use a span element in this when someone clicks over it it will open the navigation bar the curtain menu that's it I will just be using hashtag uh, sorry and hashtag 9776 this is the symbol of three lines that means the navigation icon I will just enlarge the size of the coding screen read IDE I will just giving the styling cursor pointer font size 20 pixel you can uh, just style accordingly according to your screen according which suits you after that I will just go on styling part I will style the body I will just give um, fan family you can choose any of the font family as I have specified earlier it's not necessary that you will choose mine only background will be a URL the image that I have taken so it will be backfire.jpg uh, yeah look at this is that this is the dark background image that I wanted so I will just I will just give it a size as cover background repeat as no repeat and background color will black so that it will look like this and background position will be centered so it will be centered on the screen so color will be white so all the font color will be white on the screen I will just style the overlay or uh, not overlay overlay and in this I will just give it the height as hundred percent so that the curtain menu will have the height as hundred percent width will be zero for now position will be fixed so that it will be coming on the fixed position and the Z index will be one top zero left zero so it will be having a zero pixel from the top and from the left also zero background color will be red I will just give a little lighter red and I will just give opacity as 0 0.9 opacity is really important because the yeah look at this this is what I wanted to say you and overflow will be hidden transition will be 0 0.5 pixel when someone clicks over it it will have it will be having transition means it will change its width in 0 0.5 seconds so overlay will be overlay a anchor text in the overlay I will just give padding as 8 pixel text decoration is none next thing would be color as white display as block so that every element has its own horizontal line transition will be 0 0.3 seconds so I will now style the overlay a hover when someone hovers or focus over the um, navigation elements or items it will change its color to green yellow uh, look as I was as I was specified earlier also you can choose any of your color you can choose black color also when someone hovers over it overlay content 
the next thing that I am going to style is overlay content. The position will be relative. It will be 25 percent. No, it is more. A little less also. 15 percent will be okay. Yes. From the top, width will be 100 percent. Text align as center, and margin from top will be 30 pixels. Yeah, perfect. Now to style the cross button that is on the top of the screen, it has to be on the right hand side. So I will just uh, choose the select select overlay dot close button. Position will be absolute. Top will be two pixel, and right will be two pixel. Oh, it is not getting right. So what's the error is? Yeah, the class of close button is missing. E is missing in close button. So that's the spelling mistake that I made. Yeah. So font size will be 60 pixel. It is necessary because when it will view the full screen, it is necessary to have cross button larger. So now I will just or oh, 50 percent. I will just uncomment the width zero, and after that I will have some heading like welcome to sync programming. This is just for display. I know you can write your own also, but for looking good I think so it is necessary so making a curtain menu as a paragraph so now I will uh, open the script tag in which I have to just make two functions open nav in which uh, the it will take element by id my nav and when someone clicks over it so style it will have width as 100 percent so style dot width as 100 percent look look transition is 0 0.5 second that's why it is looking like this it is going in a transition and close nav so i will just copy the same line and make the width as zero percent simple so it will be closed look so that's it for today guys look it is looking really cool if you really like the video then please share it with your friends it will be really helpful who are the beginners in web development on UI development so it will be really helpful because they will figure out the basic things in the web development and yeah that's it for today guys I will just share the code in the description thank you so much